Hi Taurus, this will be your reading for March 2023. The deck that I'm using is the Rider Waite deck by Pamela Coleman Smith and Arthur Waite. And yes, I do use reverse cards and if a card jumps out, I indeed will use that card or cards as they fall. Now, the first card that you have in the first couple of days of that first week of March 2023 talks about um, mental language, okay? It talks about reactions to conflict in your environment. Maybe there's an argument taking place in your environment and it's creating some type of mental anguish for you and you're having a hard time to deal with it. Now, it also talks about news coming your way and it talks about a message, perhaps bad news about someone's health. And so this is creating some type of pain or depression. And so you're turning to possibly painting or poetry in order to express this pain. So you're using your creativity to heal emotionally. Now it also talks about possibly someone to, who's having dangers with their health, probably or possibly heart problems, okay? Now it could also be that uh, someone's going into surgery. So someone's having to go through surgery and it has to deal with the heart. Now sometimes it's not your pain, it's somebody else's pain. So perhaps you're watching someone else who's going through a period of pain in their life and you're feeling that semblance of sympathy for them, okay? That empathetic type of energy. Now it also talks about having to change your perception because at this point in time, possibly you're feeling a little depleted of emotions and maybe you're getting a little depressed and you're getting tired. You're tired of trying, you're tired of persevering, you're tired of, of trying to move forward in some endeavor in your life and you're almost feeling like, well, I wished for it, I, I prayed for it, and it hasn't happened yet. Well, give it time. Give it time because sometimes the divine will give us what we need when we need it and no sooner. Now, it could, all, it could also talk about a breakup of a relationship or a friendship in your life, okay? It could even be that someone is keeping bad company and possibly someone in your life is pressuring you to take sides against someone else and it is talking about you not getting involved in any type of conflict in the first couple of days um, of that first week of March. Now, as you're moving into the middle of Mar March, the middle couple of days, okay, of that first week, it does talk about you feeling this need to be secure. And possibly there's a gift or an inheritance. Someone's giving you something. Someone from the past is giving you something, whether it be a present, whether it be an inheritance of sorts, where they thought about your future, and so they are giving you something uh, to hold on to. Now, it does talk about attempts to return to the past. It talks about minor disagreements taking place between groups of people that aren't seeing eye to eye. And perhaps that's going to cast a shadow on a social um, activity that's taking place that you're invited to. Now, it may even be a family situation where there's people being invited to. Maybe it's a celebration of life and you're showing up for the celebration of life and there's arguments between groups of people and it's creating that type of dynamic where there's a lot of tension and stress and you're having to pull away from those energies to save your own mental, uh, mental health, okay? Now, as you're moving into the middle part of that first week, it does talk about you having... Um, a fear, a fear, a resistance to change. It's almost like you, you fear that change has actually happened and there's denial. You're going through denial at this point in time where you're not, you're not choosing to think about it. You're not wanting to focus on it. You're not wanting to focus on something that actually happened, okay? And it does talk about solutions that are needing to be researched because there's unpredictable unpredictable events or behaviors that are taking place as you move into the middle part of that first week. Now, it does talk about you wanting to move to more peaceful surroundings, and there's an unconscious conflict taking place in your body, in your mind. It does talk about you pulling away from a larger group. It's almost like whatever this circumstance that happened that was emotionally draining, okay, you're detaching from that feeling. You're kind of like putting yourself aside possibly going through a period of mental anguish where you're detaching from a larger group, you're wanting to self-isolate. But it does talk about power struggles that are being hidden. Power struggles are being hidden from you, but you're feeling the energies around you and it's draining you. Now, as you move into the last two days of that uh, first week of March, 2023, it does talk about, as I said, what did I say? 
It talks about reactions to conflict. It talks about mental anguish. It talks about not being able to focus, not being able to move forward because you're, you're feeling exhausted. You're feeling mentally exhausted. And that's where you're going to end that first week, okay? You're going to end it with this anguish. But it also talks about having to identify the source of a problem and finding something to move forward with, okay? It does talk about using your creativity. Uh, to move forward to kind of like heal your soul. It also talks about possibly injuries to your emotions or your ego. So maybe there's someone in your life who's not being um, not being so nice to you, not being so nice to you. Maybe they blame you for something. And indeed, possibly, possibly they're blaming you um, unfairly. Perhaps they're blaming you unfairly, and that's taking a toll on you. It's taking a toll on your health mentally and physically. So be prepared for that in that first week and know that things will get better as you go on. So let's go into the second week. And in that second week, you have a female energy. It's a nurturing energy. It's a natural, it's a, a maternal energy, okay? It could be a grandmother, could be a sister, could be an aunt, could be an older relative, a female uh, energy, okay? Now, it's someone who's good at looking after other people's needs. And it may be a doctor, a nurse. It might even be someone who's involved in some type of child care or maintenance. Um, craftspeople, someone who's a naturalist. Um, could be someone who deals with um, holistic medication, okay? It also could stand for an authority figure in your life who is responsible for other people's health. It also is someone who is very overworked, and they're very overworked because they've been taking care of everyone else's needs. It might even talk about possibly pre uh, pregnancy or problems with fertility. Now, it does talk about avoiding behavior that goes with poverty thinking, like hoarding. A lot of the times we will hold on to stuff for fear of losing that feeling. We hold on to stuff that people gave us because it gives us a semblance of like stability, okay? It gives us a, a semblance of security. And so we might hold on to that blanket that... Um, I don't know, Aunt Betsy gave us, okay, because it reminds us of her. And so perhaps someone in your life is kind of getting into hoarding. Maybe they're holding on to everything because they don't want to let go of it because it reminds them of someone, okay? Now, it talks about avoiding this behavior because it can be confusing. Now, it does talk about the ability to live well on a limited means, and it does talk about it women in your life who are going to help you monetarily. They're going to help you move forward emotionally, physically, and uh, psychologically from whatever pain that you're dealing with as you're moving into that first week of the, or the first couple of days of that second week. Now, just talk about you being able to recognize your destiny in that second week. You're taking charge of your life. As above, so below. You can manifest it. If you think it and you feel it, you can manifest it. If you want something bad enough, all you have to do is do that first step and you can manifest it. It talks about you being proactive and independent, <clears throat> taking an interest in everything in your life and using your resources that you have with confidence and knowing that you can move forward in a positive way. It talks about you being a very dedicated student and seeking out the appropriate role model, mentor, and classes, perhaps instruction that you need in order to move forward in a course of study. It also talks about a reality-based step-by-step plan and getting those gold stars for every single step of the way. It talks about finding an ideal partner or someone who believes in you, someone who will stand by you. If you want to know if somebody is interested, if you're looking for your first time love or your, your first true love, indeed, perhaps this is the one, perhaps this is the one. And they may be a good match for you. So maybe you're joining forces with someone, maybe a friend, maybe a mentor, someone that you, um, you go to school with, you work with, okay? Now, Along with the, the rose-colored glasses, you take those rose-colored glasses off, right? And it does say that there may be an unsatisfactory choice that's coming into place here. So somebody might be making a decision to go back to an old relationship or return to the past because of that fear of losing security. This may be you or it may be an earth sign individual. But it does talk about a troubled or an abusive relationship. And it talks about the fact that this definitely is not the right choice. So it looks like you're going to be dealing with a lot of stuff in that second week. Let's see if the third week is any better. And it looks like it just might be. 
It just might be. There is a person coming into your field of energy, another female nurturing energy. It's someone who's very warm and energetic, a fire sign individual. That would be a Sagittarius, uh, a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries, but it is a female. And it's someone who's warm and energetic and sincere, very intelligent and ambitious, someone who speaks their mind but very creative and artistic. And this person tolerates no limits on what they can do or what they can achieve. Now, it could be a signifier for someone who is a mother figure or is going to be a mother figure or a caretaker for you. But it is someone that's going to be in a position of authority in your life. But it's someone who's very openly proud of their children if they have them. It's someone who's willing and able to help you. It's a person who's going to bring the right people, the right ideas, and the right things together for you to move forward. Indeed, it's someone who's going to give encouragement. They're going to offer their influence to give you a break. It predicts success, creative pursuits. Someone's trying to limit your expression as a person, as an individual, as a woman, possibly, or as a nurturer. Now, you don't have to be a female to be a nurturer. So there might be someone in your life who is trying to limit your power to show your love to someone else, okay? And it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen because you're pulling back your energy and you're going to make your own choices by your own steam and by your own power. So as you move into the middle two days of that third week, it does talk about indecision. It talks about irrational motives and choice making. It talks about having to simplify your life to give something up for greater freedom. Freedom. It does talk about friendship or business or a project partnership or an inequality that's taking place in that latter part due to ego. Okay, so possibly you have a friend who has a, a larger than thou ego. Or maybe you're involved in a, a business with somebody. Maybe you're in joint ownership of property and that person has more resources than you do and they're using uh, their power against you. Now as you move into the latter two days of that third week, Taurus, it talks about you having unrealistic expectations about your career path. It talks about you needing to find a mentor to show you the way or to show you the ropes. But it talks about not looking for shortcuts, okay? Be clear about your goals and what you want and what you want to achieve. But me, be more self-reliant because you do need more information as you're moving forward. So let's move into that fourth week. Now, I hope I haven't made that mistake, but a couple of times I found myself saying Capricorn, but this reading is for Taurus, and we're in the fourth week. And in the fourth week, it talks about in the first couple of days that you feel like you have no personal power in your life. It's almost like you feel like your power has been stripped from you, okay, and that you have no mobility, you have no choice. Maybe you want to move, maybe you want to visit someone, maybe you want to buy a car. But it does talk about you feeling isolated, you feeling like you can't move forward. It also talks about someone possibly waiting to get accepted into a situation, into a, a job, into a location. Okay, It does talk about you waiting for an answer for this. It could be a, a school, a career, a program, a sport. It does talk about you needing to feel like you have some personal freedom, but you're still dependent in certain ways. Now, this is a point of time in your life, Taurus, where it's talking about a biological transition. And this could be adolescence. This could be going from midlife to, el to being an elder. Uh, this could be pregnancy. It could be a trainee where you're finished your, your course of training. You're going into your job. It could be graduating from a course of study and going into your first job. Could be someone going to boot camp and graduating boot camp and going into trades training. It could be someone who's going from being married to being divorced or from married to being widowed. So it does talk about a big change that's coming in and you're having to deal deal with it in a in a stable way. You're having to deal with it even though your emotions are all over the place because this transition is overwhelming for you, okay? It does talk about you needing to find that stability in order to save your mental health because it's like it's overwhelming and it's taking a lot of energy out of you now it talks about spending time in your head your life is in stasis it's in a holding pattern at this time you're waiting for that next step that next movement that next period of life that next uh, phase in your life okay and it's causing a lot of frustration and delay but you're trying to view it from all sides you're trying to view it from all sides 
It does talk about possibly an institution that has not provided you the information that you need at this point in time. But it also talks about someone who's soon to be freed from punishment. Maybe you know some know somebody who has done something wrong and so they were they were doing time. Maybe they were doing time. Maybe they were, you know, having to pay the piper for something that they had done in their life. And so you're waiting for um a change. You're waiting for that change. You're waiting for that time to be up. It also talks about someone possibly taking advantage of you monetarily. Stop, stop, stop making sacrifices. Making sacrifices for someone who is just basically taking advantage of you. So it says to stop. You may be giving up a valued object or something that you value deeply in the service of someone else. That could be selling a property, selling a car, selling an antique to help someone pay a debt that they weren't able to pay. And that's what it's talking about. You have to stop. You have to stop giving up your soul and your heart and your monetary aspect of your life and your finances for this person because they're taking advantage they're taking advantage. They need to see what it's like at rock bottom in order to crawl their way back up and to uh, become a whole person again. You're not doing them any favors by fixing everything for them. So as you move into the middle couple of days of that uh, last week, it does talk about your intuition is on high alert. Something is coming up. You're finding out the truth about something and you're kind of like anticipating it. It's almost like you knew that this was going to take place, but there is a resistance to change in your life, okay? In personal status. There is a change in your personal status. It's setting you on a higher path. It's moving you forward, but you're feeling this period of indecision. You're scared people are going to judge you. You might even catch someone stealing from you, someone that you care about. You might even catch someone in a lie and being untruthful. Someone is offering you something or telling you something in order to gain or to gleam uh, financial prowess from you, finan finances from you, money from you. Maybe they're telling you something they're lying to you. They're, they're coloring something, putting a certain slant on something so they can get their way or get what it is that they want. And it sounds like they're very self-centered at this period in time. Now, just talk about you going through a period of depression because of a transition in your life where, you know, you're not, you're not feeling strong enough to handle this big change that has come up in your life, whether it's physical or psychological, whether it's a recovery that's going to be slow it's definitely going to take time. It's not going to be a quick recovery, whether it's mind, body, or spirit. Now, it does talk about abuses of past history. It talks about healing having to take place inside. You're having to forgive someone and forget something. Now, as you move into the last two days of that whole month of March, okay, it does talk about you finding success. You're going to find success by finding the balance in your life. You're going to be able to, it talks about you having money. So it talks about you being secure in your life. So possibly sharing your resources or your money with someone that you care about who's having a hard time. It also is going to bring you popularity. Now, having money, have faith. You're entering into a period of prosperity. This next period of time is going to bring you financial prowess and stability. It does talk about someone coming in to help you, someone you least expect. You never thought that they would step in to help you and they care more than you know. It does talk about relationships in your life that are going to be harmonious and cooperative and definitely very productive. There are good times with friends and family coming up and you're feeling that sense of material well-being it also talks about you having a concern for the well-being of other people. So possibly you getting involved in a volunteer group or a service club, helping and paying attention to the problems of people around you. And it does talk about a strong focus on the elderly, so possibly getting involved with elder care in some way. I don't know what to tell you, uh, Taurus, but definitely you got your hands full this month. And, you know, my heart feels for you. I've been there, done that. And indeed, uh, life can be hard at the best at times. But I know that you are strong and you are pers persistent. And you will move forward in, in a positive way. And you will bring positive things into your life because you have that inner glow. So I shall see you in the month of April. Namaste. Bye-bye.